Hi guys, Jenny Priz here, Christian life coach and speaker, and wanted to talk to you today about trust. And a lot of times when I talk to you guys about trust, I'm letting you know that we need to be reminded to put our trust in the Lord. And that is absolutely valuable information, but today I want to talk to you about whether or not God can trust you. Trust goes both ways. In a relationship, everything goes both ways, right? The Lord has shown us over and over again that he will love us no matter what we do. He's shown us over and over again that as long as we ask for forgiveness and show repentance, that he will absolutely forgive us for anything that we do. So he's proven himself trustworthy. Have you proven yourself trustworthy? A lot of times we will have, uh, we're praying and praying and praying about something and we might not hear an answer. And I know a lot of times in my life when I have tried to do this, I've uh, and I've gotten a, a wall from him, not even just a just a signal to just wait, just wait, but just some silence. I think, oh, maybe there's something that I'm not doing. Because it's not always the case. I don't know God's perfect will. But if you are getting silence, think back and think if there's something that he's asked you to do that you've tried to push aside you've tried to forget about and you've tried not to do uh, a lot of times we will try not to do it because we're scared and we're just plain scared and a lot and if we're scared about what he's asked us to do that's just showing him that yeah i don't really trust you i don't want to do that that's uncomfortable um, but he does reward us for pushing through and doing what he asks us to do because he rewards us for showing trust in him and for me, I have a fear of admitting that I am wrong. I hate it. So I have a hard time asking forgiveness from people because I have that hard time initially just saying I was wrong to begin with. But on those occasions when I, I recognize, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Once I've, once I've made peace with that person, once I've, I've told them, listen, I am truly sorry, I was wrong and I would like to make amends with you. Then I can go back to God and say, are we good? Is there anything else that I've missed? Is there anything else? And sometimes there is, and sometimes I need to do more work. And sometimes he's like, that is a thank you. That is what I've been asking you to do. And now we can move forward. So if he is being quiet and silent with you, just go ahead and think about what are those things that you have uh, been asked to do by the Lord and held off on because it sounded wild. It sounded crazy. Uh, maybe it's to write. Maybe it's to reach out to a certain person that uh, doesn't like you very much. Maybe it's to post something interesting on Facebook, or maybe it's just to share the word of God with someone, whatever that looks like. Uh, don't be afraid to do it, to go out there and do it. And if he's, if he's withholding from you, Proverbs 16, three says this, commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. The thing is, guys, he's going to establish all of your plans. So commit to the Lord, whatever you do. And that ignoring, I'm going to pretend that that's not there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not committing to the Lord. Unfortunately, that's keeping it for yourself. So I want to encourage you just take stock a little bit of maybe those things that he's asked you to do that you've been too fearful to do. Go ahead and trust him. Walk out on that limb and go ahead and do it. 